Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a waltz worm fly. It is probably the most easiest fly to tie for beginners. So what we're going to start off with is a size 12 standard dry fly hook. You can use jig hooks or anything, but I don't have any on me right now. So this is what we're using, and a silver bead head. We're also going to be using 6 aught black thread in a bobbin. And what we're going to do is start that black thread right behind the uh bead head and we'll just run it back about to about there almost to the bend then run our thread back and clip our tag end off then what we're gonna do is start to build a little bit of a thread taper here so we're just gonna wrap a nice wall right behind the bead head here just want to get a nice thick taper It'll help in the dubbing process. Just get a nice thick taper going. And that should be good. Okay. And now run your thread back to the end. Actually, first we're going to tie in a little piece of copper wire. This is no, this is like a copper color. Kind of like a bronze, actually. We're going to tie that in. And run it back to the bend of the hook. And run it back a couple times just to get that taper still going. And then you want to run your thread back to the copper wire. Now we're going to start to tie in our hair's ear dubbing. Right here, I like, to, I like to use hair zero plus dubbing olive brown. It's a really nice one for this fly. About what it looks like right there. And we're just going to dub up this here fly. Just do a couple little wraps there. Just like that. Get more dubbing. Now this fly does not have to be neat at all. In fact, neat flies don't always work as best as worse looking flies, like more buggy. And you kind of want to build a taper up with this dubbing. And just keep dubbing it the whole way to the top there. Now we've got dubbing the whole way up to the bead head and we'll take our wire here and just wrap it on now that we got a taper it's thicker towards the top so now you got that wire there you can tie that in and then helicopter it to get out can't really have nothing to grab onto here Helicopter that to get it out. Now we have some nice dubbing here. You can just stand it up a little bit. Use a dubbing brush if you have one. And then we're going to add in just a tad bit more dubbing. But we're going to use a shiny color right here. Right here I have some shiny red dubbing. Just like that. We'll just dub up the string. Or dub up the thread, my bad. And wrap that right at the head, just like that. That is how you tie a waltz worm fly. Now we'll whip finish. Just like that. Actually, we're going to do... We just broke the thread, so we'll just half hitch it. Alrighty, there we go. That is the... I will trim that after, but that is our waltz worm. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want more videos, please comment down what you guys want me to tie. And I'll tie it for you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. See you later.